The worst thing that can happen is we find a dead baby in Troy because of the show. Now, there's a lot of frustration right now and confusion over this new baby box at the Troy Fire Department. Good evening, I'm James Brown. Cheryl McHenry is off tonight. News Center 7's Haley Kosick first showed us how this baby box would work before its launch late last month. But now the Ohio Department of Health is investigating this new box. This is the only baby box in the Miami Valley, and it allows women to surrender their baby within the first 30 days anonymously. But someone complained to the Ohio Department of Health claiming it violated state revised code. We actually had this building designed with the mindset of a baby box. And the Troy Fire Department's Safe Haven Baby Box launched on August 12th. But on September 2nd, the Ohio Department of Health launched an investigation into that baby box. Through a public records request, News Center 7 got a copy of this letter sent by the ODH to Troy Fire Chief Matthew Simmons that said, Ohio Revised Code states the access portal door shall be installed on an exterior wall that ensures anonymity of the surrendering parents. And so with that in mind, we, we created a vestibule to have a nice space to be able to have a parent surrender that child. But Chief Simmons said someone complained to the ODH claiming a vestibule is not an exterior wall, violating Ohio Revised Code. In late June, Chief Simmons registered the baby box with the ODH and got a letter from James Hodge with the ODH telling Chief Simmons the baby box was registered and met Ohio Revised Code. So, uh, but we thought we were doing everything compliant to the Ohio Revised Code and the Ohio Administrative Code. But now state officials are saying that may not be true. The Troy Fire Department partnered with the Safe Haven Baby Box out of Indiana. The founder and CEO, Monica Kelsey, started this mission five years ago in Ohio because her mom abandoned her child uh, two hours after that child was born and that child was me. So she wanted to dedicate her life to ensuring other women in Indiana and Ohio have a safe and alternative option to abandonment that her birth mom did not have. I'm on the front lines of this fight. I'm fighting along every uh, Ohio woman that wants this resource and I'm not letting down. She feels that the Ohio Department of Health has been against her mission from the beginning. In light of the investigation, she has been calling the Ohio Department of Health every day and her calls have not been returned. All she's asking for is a face-to-face -face meeting with the fire chiefs that have these boxes and safe haven baby boxes along with the governor's office and the Department of Health so we can work this out at a table um, together. And that's what Chief Simmons wants too. And he's had trouble reaching someone at the ODH until I reached out to them Thursday. Just got off the phone with the health department, which is, is ironic. That's the first time I've been able to speak to a live representative of the health department. Once they see how the boxes work, I think they'll be like actually very supportive of us. It's frustrating, not just for me, but for my firefighters, because we are actually out there saving lives. Reporting in Troy, Ohio, I'm Haley Kosick.